Hi and welcome back. Today we are reviewing the latest release of latest operating system from Microsoft which is Windows Server 2025. Now I installed it on my VMware workstation so this is the first screen of it. The installation process is almost the same as it has always been and uh, that's the desktop wallpaper which appears once you'll install it. Um, to me it seems like a bit strange uh, some changes on the wallpaper it seems like a little bit distorted i don't know what's the main point behind having this kind of a fabric look over there but uh, the overall interface is the same i can see an icon over here which is uh, azure arc uh, we'll explore it in a minute like what is it it's saying that by connecting your server to azure arc it gives you access to powerful management and security services etc uh, so that's i think something new so far that i have noticed in this operating system um, if I'll click start and uh, here also you can see the same as your arc setup over here. Um, if I'll open the terminal, um, it's asking me that Windows terminal can uh, be set as the default terminal application in your settings. So um, a bit different over here. Um, not a major change anywhere. But if we'll go to the settings of this operating system and uh, if I'll go to about we can see that I'm using on my VMware workstation. I'm just utilized four servers on this one and eight gigs of RAM. The performance is fairly good. Um, no complaints over there. Um, I checked the uh, task manager as well. The overall performance of the system was quite stable, um, though it is working on a virtual um, environment, but still it wasn't utilizing lots of services on it. Um, and uh, the CPU's utilization and other things were quite stable. Um, as you can see, the memory utilizes two gigs. Uh, the U CPU utilization is a quite a bit on the higher end at the moment. Uh, it's going down and up. Maybe uh, there would be some applications or Windows update running in the background. Um, so that's the overall uh, setting of it. Let's go to the server manager and see. Um, in server manager again, it's again saying the same thing that try Windows admin center for Azure. Uh, we'll check it later. Uh, overall interface of the dashboard is exactly the same as it was there in server 2022. Um, there are some changes which are mentioned on Microsoft website like they have changed the TCP to quick. Um, and it is of course much better than and it is natively encrypted and uh, you don't need a VPN connection for that so you can check that out. Now let's try to see in add roles and features so we'll try to set it up into a domain like we'll be setting up a domain on this one maybe DNS and DHCP or we'll try to install IAS on this one and see that how different it is as compared to the previous uh, server operating systems uh, so we are going next uh, selecting the name as it is which is over here and not making any changes over there uh, I just want to select the Active Directory domain services over here and let's add that feature then uh, uh, I can select even DHCP if we want DNS would be installed with that the validation process would be required I don't mind that um, we'll see a DNS server that would be installed with this one but let's try IAS as well and see that if they have upgraded it or not so let's press next i'm not a big fan of installing lots of things together but since this is just a first installation on this one i'm just checking some of the basic features that we use server for so i'll just continue with next and press next over here for dhcp server i'm not changing anything for ias as well um, for the roles and other things i'll go with pretty much the basic setup but uh, uh, let's select the compatibility mode of that over here as well and press next and try to install um, now it would take some time uh, until the time it would finish i'll continue it if i'll see anything different in this one but at the moment i'm just giving it some time to install these services or roles that we have selected over here As you can see that the configuration is required. Uh, so we'll press close and we'll click on this one. So 
it is asking that uh, we'll have to promote it to the domain controller so we'll click on that and uh, since we are setting up for the first time uh, to the existing domain or add a new domain to an existing one or a new forest so we'll create a new forest and we'll call it as uh, test dot local press next so we don't want to um, create it as a read-only domain controller but as you can see that the forest level and domain functional level is 2025 so that's a good thing before it was 2016 but they have finally changed it to 2025 so you can give a password over here press next and uh, they're saying that it's not a safe password so that's a good thing that they are still checking it over here that the password should be a bit complex for this one but anyway i have changed the password um, delegation because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found that's fine uh, we'll press next and uh, it would take the same name as test as we selected test.local press next and we're not making any changes over here everything looks fine if you want to see the script you can copy it and uh, you can run it yourself on powershell if you want to run it later so as you can see all the basic prerequisites are okay so we can simply install it and promote it as a domain controller and finally once it's done it's asking you that it would be restarted because active directory domain services was installed or removed so it's restarting the operating system as you can see it's back with the domain name test and we'll try to log in as you can see it has successfully installed the active directory dhcp dns uh, file and storage services and ias over here if we'll click on configuring the uh, DHCP, it is asking us that uh, whether we want to install it on the same server, we'll just authorize it and close it so that it would configure that as well. Now, let's try to go to Active Directory um, user and computers and see if there is any difference in that or not. Um, pretty much the same, um, the same settings are there as we see in the regular active directory domain controllers um, not i cannot see any difference over here now if we'll try to see other things which are in this one for example if i'll open um, ias over here ias manager and uh, it's ias services 10 which are running on this one and uh, we can see the default pool as well and if you want to check it on your browser so you can open and try to run localhost to see that if it loads it or not press enter and we have internet information services over here so ias is running now these are the settings for our IAS manager, pretty much the same. I don't see any difference in this as well. Let's see DNS and DHCP. So for DNS, we have um, our DNS server, forward lookup zones, reverse lookup zones, test points and conditional forwarders. Um, the same stuff here as well. No difference at all. It's the same settings. And if we are going to DHCP server, we can expand and check the settings on this one as well, which is IP version six. And then we have the policies for this one and for IPv4. Of course, we don't have any DHCP scopes over here. We'll have to create it, but it's pretty much the same. And if you would like to see the group policy in this one, it should be group policy management. And in group policy management as well, I don't see anything which is different than Windows Server 2022 and stuff. So overall, it's almost the same. Maybe there would be some uh, modifications as far as the 
uh, functionalities and the uh, features uh, which are there in the operating system uh, but i don't see any major changes or obvious changes that i can say that i have observed in this operating system even in the control panel same icons and everything is the same seems like only the name as far as the look of it is concerned that has been changed otherwise rest of the things are pretty much the same um, we'll have to implement it on the domain level to see that how it performs and uh, the rest of the operations so that was a general overview of the latest operating system which is windows server 2025 i installed the data center edition with the desktop experience so i hope you liked the video that's it for today thank you very much